Hello everybody, I've shown you a couple videos on how to back up, now it's time to show you how to restore. Today I'd like to go over a topic that was actually requested, um, and it has to do with restoring data. I've had a couple videos where I've covered how to back up your NAS unit to various locations. Now the question is, how do you get your data back and how do you restore? So we're going to get into that. Let's. Um, before we get started with that, I want to just cover one little thing that I neglected to put on those backup videos, which is not have, doesn't have anything to do with backing up data, but it does have everything to do with making your restore process easier if you replace or you know get a damaged NAS. So real quick, I want to just cover that. If you do a search for settings, there's an option called backup and restore. And you can back up all your settings, so that basically backs up your users, your user permissions, um, a lot of the configurations that you did um, when you set up your NAS. So it can save you a lot of time if you're replacing the NAS or if, you're, if your NAS crashed and you got a replacement. So I encourage you to do that, um, you know, irrespective of how you back up your data. You should get that done at least once. Okay, with that said, let's get into backing up. Uh, restoring I should say again we're gonna launch um, the hybrid backup sync 3 we're gonna cover a couple different ways of restoring first off um, let's go to the backup and restore tab and let's click on restore so from here we're, we've got several options on where we're, uh, where we're gonna pull our restore data or our sync data from so the one thing I want to point out that's not super obvious when you set one of these up is if you're backing up data from your NAS onto a USB drive, you notice there's no USB drive listed here. Um, to actually get to the USB drive, you're going to pick on local NAS um, because remember your USB drive is actually attached to your NAS, so you're really pulling data from your local NAS unit. Um, and then from there, you're going to hit select. And this is where um, it gets, again, not super obvious. Um, if you've been syncing data as opposed to backing up, um, then what you really want to do here is pick this destination. Because you're really your source is the destination of where your files have been put to. So again, it's not super obvious, but you're going to pick destination. And then from here, we're going to add a source data. So and if we scroll down here, we'll see someplace we will see the USB disk that I set up and again you can drill down to folders and files so I'm just gonna go ahead and pick this folder for now click OK and now you see that my path is from the USB drive with a folder called AMD update so here I'm gonna option to choose my destination so here I'm gonna say choose destination and again I can put this anywhere I want. I can put it back onto that local NAS or I can put it somewhere else if I want to. So what I'm going to do is put this to a folder called test folder which just works right now and hit next. I'm going to option to restore now so I click restore now hit next, next and restore and so this job is going to restore some folders that were deleted from my NAS back to uh, my folder of choice I can again put it back into the same folder or I can put it to a separate folder okay so it's actually completed that there's there wasn't that many files in there so we're going to try something a little different now okay so I'm going to actually create another job now that we've done you know, restoring from the USB drive, I'm now going to uh, restore from another NAS, which is my particular configuration. So I'm going to hit create, restore job. I'm going to pick remote NAS. I'm going to pick the NAS that I actually have set up as a, a server um, in the destination of my backup jobs. And if you refer to my backup videos, you'll see kind of how I've configured those um, to back up from NAS to NAS. So I'm going to hit select. Now again, this is the same thing as picking up from files, and you can't forget to do this because it'll mess you up, is that 
if it's a anything if it's an actual backup job where you're actually creating a backup file then you can pick the backup job from here um, but you notice there's nothing showing up here because I don't have a backup job I only use sync jobs and if I use a sync job I actually have to pick destination so from destination I'm gonna hit I'm gonna go ahead and pick a destination I'm gonna drill down and say um, let's pick something here I'm gonna pick something from my files um, let's say pick consulting services click OK so you can see here I set up my NAS to go from the consulting service to pull data from the consulting services and now I'm going to restore that to a specific location and again I'm going to pick the test folder for this just because so I've now set it up to go from my uh, consulting services folder that's on my backup NAS to a test folder on my present NAS so I'm going to click next and again I'm going to say restore now click next next and restore and okay as you can see the the restore has completed and if I flip over to the folder that I've called test folder you'll see that both the restore I did from the USB drive as well as from my alternate NAS have now showed up so if I drill down below these I can see the files and there's all my files again there wasn't a lot of data there this was just used for test purposes but you get the idea okay before I close this video I do want to point out something that's a little peculiar um, if you're actually syncing files to a cloud service many times it won't restore through this you'll have to just do it manually by just uh, you know logging into your account and just dragging the files down if you're actually performing a backup an actual backup so when you create a backup job you selected the backup function it will create a backup you know proprietary backup file that can and will be restored um, through this particular module here so again it's a little peculiar on just pulling sync data uh, it may even be a a bug in the program um, it's just for me I've never been able to get it to work right so when I do do sync jobs to uh, one of my cloud services which I do on a regular basis such as Amazon 3 um, if I have to pull data I just log into the Amazon s3 console and pull the data back in it's much easier this is really um, aimed at restoring from a backup file not just the sync file but it works great from you know any other medium other than cloud services and it's not all cloud services it's just a a few of them so you have to kind of pick and choose so i hope that helps and clarifies how to restore your data from one of various different sources um, you know, I encourage you to try it a couple times to make sure that um, wherever you're syncing or backing up to is able to restore. And now that you understand how to do it, you can pick the, you know, a customer a test location to restore data and make sure that works correctly. Now, a couple of things else, a couple other things I want to clarify. If you're setting up a new NAS, you have to first restore your settings, and then uh, from there. You know you have to create your passwords and so on for the admin reset up your your nas and then you can um, once you launch the hybrid you can actually create a custom restore job that will actually pull your data back from its destination so it's pretty straightforward and i hope this cleared cleared up some of the confusion okay there's one last thing i want to clear up um, and i think it's an important point that you need to understand before before you choose the backup scenario when you're doing a restore there is a distinctive difference between backup and sync. If you're doing a sync, you can obviously restore your data folder by folder and recreate it. However, the folders have to be there already. In other words, you'll have to pre-create your folders. If you do a backup, that backup process um, will create the folder structure. And when you restore, it will restore the folder structure as well. So it's kind of, it's, 
not all that important if you're just worried about having duplicate copies of your data. But, you know, in the event of a major rebuild where you've lost everything, you know, it can save you a lot of time if you've done a backup versus a sync. I overall find the sync more useful, but you need to understand the difference. So, because uh, as it relates to your restore, because remember, you're restoring from folder to folder. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification icon so you'll be notified of any future videos. Don't forget to post any questions you might have in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.